Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Diofield Chronicle and uh, yeah, we're doing a main mission, Battle at Grost Crypt. Nobles bearing grievances towards the royal government have taken to the catacombs to plot a rebellion and it is up to us to nip it in the bud. Okay. Got eight minutes in a treasure chest, let's go. We should probably try out that uh, salamander summon. This mission will take you to Grost Crypt in northern Southfield. That is where the nobles of Southfield are gathering to make preparations for their insurrection against Centralfield. Your task is to prevent this rebellion. I used to play in those catacombs all the time when I was but a little girl. Some fools like to claim that they're haunted. Have we managed to determine the instigator of this insurrection? Those yes. zombie things are going to show He's up there. Zachariah, a fixer and middleman for members of the upper class. He has allied himself with House Engram and has been recruiting local nobles to their cause. All this in retaliation for the breakdown of negotiations with the Alliance. Perhaps. In any case, it is a futile effort. I'm surprised the Duke has reacted with such urgency. Wouldn't it be because he's planning to expand his sphere of influence to Southfield? Excuse me? There would be nothing untoward about it. Duke Hende is on the Lord's Council, after all. He's a representative of the Kingdom. Yes, well, it doesn't explain why the nobles of Southfield would try something so utterly foolish. I suppose we'll soon find out. map. It's the blue foxes! Why are they here? Did they catch wind of our plans? Keep your composure. They're giving us an opportunity to test our secret weapon. I think they've got one of those crystals it's that control while, but nothing's monsters. Changed. I feel at home here. It feels like something could jump out at us at any moment. Hey, cut that out! You know I'm no good with the spooky stuff. <laughs> Forgive me. There is something about this place, though. Perfect for hatching a path. Quinn mentioned that this place is rumored to harbor drifting souls. That reputation ensures no one comes close. And so the plotters have been able to act in secret. Ah, then we're not actually expecting any ghosts. All right, so no worries. Yeah, it's gonna be fine, Rickles. There won't be zombies coming out of the ground or anything. <laughs> I wouldn't be so <laughs> sure. Rhea said nothing regarding the rumor's veracity. Count me out of this one, then. <laughs> Come now, enough of that, you two. We need to open the door, which means we'll first need to secure that turret over there. Okay. All right, how are we doing? We got a couple of 18s we still need to work on. So let's make sure that anybody who's an 18 gets switched in. Make sure that we're, uh, you know, just getting our levels. Missile, huh? Yeah, let's have you front line a bit.
Okay, so this guy gives an attack buff by the look of things. And uh, with our engraving, it should be an attack and a defense bu buff. Pretty cool stuff. Okay. Do I have any money? I might just buy a new accessory for him. You're in the back line right now because we brought in Fredret instead. So what do we want for you? Maybe technique, because that affects skills. I feel like your technique should be better. Let's see if we can get something for technique. Okay, those ones are defense, those ones are attack, boots are for HP, and I think these are technique. Okay, cool. On my way. Conjure a block of ice on the target. The block will fire icy arrows as the unit attacks. Has a chance to inflict freeze. How does that work? Hurry up and die! Okay, so as he attacks... Okay, interesting. Be gone with you. Eliminate. Understood. I see, so I can put it on any of my units. Hurry up and die! And then as they attack, they can freeze. Yes, yes, I'm going. Uh -oh. Understood. Seize victory! Very well. I'm not going to take one step further. Son of a bitch. I'll clear a pump. Great. 
It's open. Now we need to capture those two turrets in order to open the door within. There are some enemy patrols units. in the area. It would be wise to take them out one at a time. Okay. Now let's see. Heal is a 50. Hurried heal is 30%. We only really need a 30, right? Here, a bit of healing for you. Boom. There we go. Just top that off a little bit. Yes, yes, I'm going. Very well. Understood. Oh, what have we here? Very well. Be gone with you. defeated on my way be gone with you you're not going anywhere for you. I'm going. Understood. I'll clear a path. Understood. Be gone with you. Next target. Assassin, but now we're gonna stun. Is that all you have? You're not going anywhere. Yes, yes, I'm going. Okay, let's go. go. Yes, yes, I'm going. Don't 
know I went down on that one, but... Right, Let's do this. I won't miss. Understood. Capture successful. Yes, yes, I'm going. You were here after all, Zachariah. I don't recall inviting any foxes to my domain. Really? You made so little effort to conceal your plotting, I thought you wanted us to come. <sighs> I'll teach you some manners. Yeah, we'll see about that. I owe you for last time, you know. Oh, I'm going to have so much fun with you. So you'd better enjoy yourself while you can. You'll be begging for death soon enough. <laughs> enough of your prattle. This ends here. bit of healing for you. Yes, yes, I'm going. Hurry up and die. Be gone with you. Otherwise, we're looking mostly pretty good. Just spread out far enough that I can't get both with that. This isn't really my style. Let's just keep him up. I'll be gone with you. Next target.
Be gone with you. Target eliminated. You're not going anywhere. Stun shot's a little too far away. I'm going. Rachel. When did what the? I completely missed the fact that you went down, bro. All right, you got. Let's do this. So that will raise as well. That Damn it, that sucks. Okay, we won't get the bonus. I don't know what you got hit by that hurt that bad, but also I think we can. I thought that we could only switch, but it looks like we can switch people in the back line as well. I did not know that. <laughs> I'm a little bit mad that I missed that. Somewhere along the line, he took some big hits. I won't miss. Okay, Salamander. Yeah. 
be gone with you. Next Damn time, it. is that all you have? Go. Yes, yes, I'm going. You're not going anywhere. And die. On my way. Go. Oh, you're just not gonna let me attack from there? That's stupid. Be gone with you. Going anywhere. No! Not <laughs> Why? Fredred's like my least favorite unit so far. He just it's hard to it's hard to use him effectively, I feel like. Dude goes down fast when he goes down too. Probably should have um provoked away from him. Although the person who has provoke right now, I guess I could have switched out for Izzy, but. Um, cause Rickenback is not exactly <laughs> a tank, but it is what it is. It's now or never. Whoa. Duke Angram. Zachariah is running. Walter Quinn. Oh, what a treat. I simply cannot resist. It's coming at us! Dude, she's wild. I'm sorry, come now again? Now is the time to unleash rage upon this hapless puppet. She's Walter a necromancer. Quinn. The fuck? <laughs> Everything new I learn about Walter Quinn, one, surprises me, but two, is fucking awesome. I'm also more scared of her every time she reveals something new. Like, what if she ends up being the big bad by it before the end? What the fuck? Got a problem. That just made her hotter to me. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's too much. Too, too much. I simply can't resist any longer. This hex is too delicious. Walter Quinn. <laughs> yes? What is it? Walter Quinn, are you listening? Of course. Why are you pulling that scary face? <laughs> Enough of the little girl act. You summoned the dead right in front of us. Ah, you noticed then? Uh, yeah, of course we, we did. 
When were you planning on telling us about your powers? I never knew I had them. It's just something that happened on impulse. Oh, she is such a liar. How did you know how to do that? I must have a knack for these things. Does this mean that it was in fact you who made the corpses rise at House Redditch? Well, if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have been able to make our escape, no? But does that mean... Did you kill the Redditches? Your own family? We already guessed she might have. I wonder. I don't know what to say. Surely you're not all that surprised. Look, let's talk about this later, shall we? I'm keen to leave this place behind. Shivat knows some things about her too, that he hasn't told us. Everybody's keeping secrets. Everybody's keeping secrets. The nobles' insurrection is thwarted by the Blue Foxes, and its leaders are killed in battle. Not wasting any time, Duke Hende dispatches his troops to the now leaderless Southfield. And before long, the vacated domains have all been taken under the Duke's control. The Duke immediately introduces stricter laws, huh. as well as higher taxes. Interesting. He also sets about eradicating any local customs and beliefs which he deems to be dangerous. Having grown used to light touch governance, the people of Southfield find such moves oppressive. Indeed, many choose to relocate to other parts of Diofield to escape from the suffocating policies. Hmm. A number of the recently displaced Southfield natives come to Central Field, advocating the adoption of democracy. This new political movement gains followers among those dissatisfied with the royal government. Riots ensued, instilling fear throughout the government. The Blue Foxes are brought in to quell the chaos. Oh, jeez. Man, we're, we're working for a bad dude. I think we're working for a bad dude. You've known Walter Quinn for a long time, Shivat. Were you aware of her talent for necromancy? Yeah, it's time for you to answer some questions, bro. Um, But yeah, like, through all of this upheaval, somehow Hende ends up in charge of all of Southfield's domains. All the other lords got taken out. All the other dukes are gone. And he gained more and more power through all of this. I think that uh, he's been orchestrating this from the beginning. Necromancy? It's a type of ancient sorcery secretly pursued by the church. It revives corpses as puppets. Oh, well, uh, she's been obsessed with ancient sorcery hexes since she was little. She'd sometimes sacrifice animals for them. Oh! She'd show not a hint of remorse. It was chilling. Did you leave her family's service because she frightened you? <laughs> Dude, she's a serial killer. <laughs> no, that wasn't the reason. It was all becoming too much for me. The Daglance traders throwing their weight around, the Engrams cozying up to Poland. Not fond of responsibility, then. <laughs> I'd have thought a mercenary would appreciate that. But perhaps I got you wrong. Yes, perhaps you did. Okay. A couple of other side quests. Good. Wow. The capital's plagued by problems of its own, huh? So, anyway. This feels very new to me, having spent so long in the countryside. Right, right. Now is the time to further my research. Yes. Weapon development is actually rather simple. You just make stronger weapons. Oh, okay. Yeah, good. Thank you. 
Of course. Naturally. Yeah, well, as long as I can do business with someone, their politics don't matter one jot to me. city folk leaves a bad taste in the mouth, right? We're gonna quell talks of democracy. That's our goal right now. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Understood. We find whoever we're ordered to. Imperial soldiers, rioters, it makes no difference. Surely not. Democracy gives political power to the common people. That's madness. Is it, Frederick? I object. Without the order imposed by the king and the local lords, the country would fall into chaos. All the more reason. And after all, don't the riots we're seeing nowadays stem from disruptions to an established hierarchy? Have you seen Walter Quinn today? Yes. And she's her usual self. Despite everything. I can't believe she can be quite so nonchalant. Why are you so alarmed by her powers? They could be invaluable in battle. Oh, that hex was incredible. There's no doubt about that. But I worry that her moral compass has become distorted. Perhaps that's just the way she is, Fred. By the way, she'll keep us on our toes. <laughs> yes, she will. I'm a little concerned about what Walter Quinn might do if we have to take action against the rioters. Indeed. Yes, we'll need to keep an eye on her. All right. And we will. Now to our briefing. Oh, man. Excuse me? The riots are growing out of control. The royal government now has no choice but to intervene. <sighs> but all this social unrest does not feel coincidental. Is someone pulling the strings? Yeah, I think Duke Hende is pulling all of these strings. He seems to be the one who uh, seems to gain from every bad thing that's happened so far. Every time something bad happens, he just gets more powerful. Let's see. Well, Quinn seems even more unapproachable than usual today. Did something happen? Our duty is rather dull. I'd prefer to fight for glory on the battlefield. Got a sec. The only reason you're being so irritable is because you're famished. Castavir, I wanted to ask you something about Verma. Certainly. As long as you don't expect me to spill the Republic's secrets. Um, you're working for us now, so why wouldn't you? You mentioned that there were unsavory rumors about the vermin representative. What are they? <laughs> well, that certainly qualifies as a secret. Still, I suppose I've already renounced my citizenship. In short, it's thought that he pulled some strings to ensure victory in the election. Forging ballots, that kind of thing? Worse. He abducted opposition supporters. This caused outrage at first, of course. But soon people were too scared to speak up. He was the only candidate on the ballot in the end. Some would say that still counts as winning on merit. Mm. Before long, he was one of the Alliance's top dogs. But he could rise no further. After all, such a divided Alliance is no match for the Empire. Really? Then perhaps you ought to have defected to the Empire instead. Perhaps so, but easy victories have never interested me, and I value freedom above all else. That's why I came to Deerfield, an island I knew nothing about. The perfect place to clean your conscience after all the dirty work you did. <laughs> well, I'd rather not think about that. girl, talk to me. You psychopath. <laughs> hmm. 
What's that smell? Well, what a charming greeting. And it's probably the scent of death you're noticing. I've been using a lot of necromancy of late. No, it's not that. It's something else. It's... Hmm. Oh, I know what it is. This smell is sometimes produced when synthesizing herbs for ancient sorcery. It's rather seductive, isn't it? I've heard it can put some people in a trance-like state. Unbelievable. Not content with corpses, you intend to bend the living to your will as well. Don't be ridiculous, I've done no such thing. Unless you're saying I've charmed you. Still flirting. You're a fool. Don't you know that hexes invariably invade their caster's mind? You must know that frequent use will corrupt your own existence. Oh, so you're concerned about me, are you? Of course I am. <laughs> you fight alongside me, yes. <laughs> if you lose your mind on the battlefield, it's kind of a big deal, girl. Well, you needn't worry. I am strong enough. Nothing can corrupt me. Baselessly confident, as always. <laughs> mind that you don't fall prey to your own pride. She's You're already got to a... talk about baseless confidence. She's already got a couple screws loose. <laughs> Perhaps we are birds of a feather in that regard. Okay, so when do we get to use her necromancer powers in, in battle, huh? When do we get to uh, summon thralls on our behalf? I doubt that. Stirring up riot serves only to paint the democracy idealists in a bad light. Good. We've got a fair bit of money. We probably should try and do some upgrades. I'm gonna buy another one of those. For the love of God, man, stay alive for once in your life. Three ain't bad. Who needs the upgrades the most? Holy crap, you guys actually are pretty far behind, apparently. Plus 375 to HP as well? Okay, you can take that. Resources for that right now.
Okay. I think Quell the Rites is up next. Yes, it is. So, thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Have a good one, everybody. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters Darren York, ZTD, Seventh Son, Len, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Andrew Smith, Molly, Chris Murphy and Jordan and Emily Hill. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.